Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac. I don't know why I said it like that. I should have said the new save file. Anyways, we're jumping in as Kane this time around. This is going to be another non no completion mark win. Um, I'm going to go for those on occasion. But Kane it is. We're on a 26 win streak right now. I'm feeling very, very good. We get XL floor to start out, which is always a little bit scary. Um, if I could get you to come over here, my lad. Got to remember about the pills in this guy as well. I always forget this guy has positive pills. I don't play him very often, and it's very powerful. Awesome. Okay, good start with three keys here. Um, Kane is honestly one of the characters that is a little sort of scary to start out with, because all it takes is a few, like, bad champion placements, and you can die. It's same as, like, our next run that's going to be as Judas. Judas is another sort of big character that it has a lot of risk associated. I'm going to try and use that bomb there. Do you know what? I'm going to try and kill you first, if I can. I can't. Right, um, there you go. Hazard, Hazard. We don't have a bomb to get through there, unfortunately, but that would be a pretty good place to bomb. Okay, we do have a bomb. Doesn't doesn't matter. Um, one bomb for three keys and a penny. Probably. Why am I the way that I am? I completely forgot that glass chests just broke if you bombed them. <laughs> that was a really, really bad play. My bad. So that was a bit of a waste of a bomb. Oops, I guess, is all I can say about that. Big fat oops. Luckily, Kane here, we do start with good damage, so we're going to be sliding through these rooms pretty quickly. Okay, don't lose the Devil Deal straight away. Not that I want to take Devil Deal, but getting Angel Deal next floor would be kind of nice. This is an XL floor, so we've got two item rooms to see yet. Good extra penny. We one shotting these guys? Yes, we are. Boo, yeah. Okay, pills are always good. I can see forever. Okay, we've already seen one secret room, so not the not the most ideal. But we can still get second secret room out of this, obviously. These ghosties are gonna start bombarding me soon. Really hard to hit. Luckily, they're also really bad at hitting me. Good. I'll do what I can with them, but for the most part, they're going to end up ejecting and launching at me in some way or another. Cool. Right. Sunken fly, orbital familiar inflates um, with... Uh, inflates on contact with enemies or troll bombs, pushing them away. Not particularly great. We do have the flashlight in there, which I don't know how I rate the flashlight. It can be good. Overall, it can also be a little bit of a nuisance too, though, so kind of sits in a weird spot for me. Yeah, Sunken Fly really is pretty much a, a non-starter of an item. I don't think I'm going to notice him too much. I'm definitely not going to purposely utilize him. If he does stuff, he does stuff. If he doesn't, he doesn't. That's kind of my mentality right now. Let's take out the annoying spiders first. And then take out you. Lovely. Get ourselves a chest. Unfortunately, it's a chest that we can't actually uh, get to. But at least we can get the five cent there. So should we take flashlight or not? I'm leaning towards yes, we should. But I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's overall a decent item. It can just be a little unfortunate sometimes, but I'll take it. I'll take this as well. Hoping for a bomb there, but sadly not. And our second item room, I'm really hoping that's something pretty stellar. It does. It most certainly does. It has one of my favorite items in it. It has Cricket's Body. Now, that does put our range at a pretty significant like downgrade. Pretty low range. But tears up plus splitting shot. It's fun and it has a lot of synergy potential. It's pretty good stuff. Right, let's try not to get hit on our bosses now. 
Unfortunately, first off, we get a boss that I'm not known for not getting hit against, so that's not great. Ah, oh, you bastard. I just can't... The rhythm of the way that they spin just doesn't compute for me. It doesn't work the way my brain works. We did already get a pretty cool visual synergy, at least, with the nails here. Is he healing? Anyhow, we did get the devil deal here. Um, I don't think I'm going to take it still. And then boss-wise, I'm just going to go regular path, I think. Binky was a really good pickup there for a huge tears up. We got ourselves a soul heart protection. Unfortunately, this was one of the most worthless rooms I've ever seen in my life. I love the rave that you can do with nightlight. It's so funny. But yeah, it's nice that if it even touches a shot, it slows it down permanently rather than when it's ju just when it's in the light. That is useful. Have I done Question of the Day today? I don't think I have, have I? Um, sorry, I'm, I'm back. I'm like doing recordings back to back at the minute, so Questions of the Day kind of slipped my mind. Um, hmm. What's something that you learn like way too late in life? Like what, what's something like a skill maybe? Like for example, for me, I didn't learn to ride a bike until I was like eight, which for some people is like normal, but from like... Where, like, where I lived, basically most people were, like, riding bikes by, like, four or five. And so I was, like, re a really late bloomer in terms of, like, actually going out with friends on my bike and stuff. That's definitely one for me. I was really hoping for Bob's Rotten Head there, because that thing slaps. <laughs> Bob's Rotten Head is beautiful. My goodness. Okay, let's keep it moving. And I think we've got secret room behind us here, but currently nowhere to get in there. Don't have enough money to open that chest right now. At the minute, all, all we've got going on is just an insane amount of keys. Charm of the Vampire, it's a slight damage up. Uh, the healing, actually, it's a more of a damage up than I thought it would be. It said 0 0.3, and this is definitely 0 0.7, so that's nice. Damage and fire rate are in a really good spot right now, to be honest. Doing very well on that front. Get out of here, you. I love the little sound these nails make when they split. Got a good amount of bombs now. You know what? This is just an all-round good room. You can have three keys. No, actually, you can have five. Wow, you gave me a very good item. I don't think I've ever had you pay out with an item before. <laughs> no, to be fair, saying that, I'm pretty sure the very first time in Repentance that I got Psyfly, it was on Corpse 2 from a Key Beggar, so I was pretty grateful then. And for a little while, I thought you could only get um, the Psyfly from those Key Beggars. I've got a bit of an idea on this floor, so like, stick with me here. I have to see how this goes first, this boss. I'm going to put my strength card on here, because this is annoying. Not a fan of the layout of this room, my god. Okay, luckily we got him. Did get our angel deal. We also got blue cap, which is very nice. Our angel deal is mustard seed, which I'm very happy about. Thank you. Right, I'm going to go and play the sack room a little bit because I have a lot of health on this floor. I know I'm going to lose a soul heart to do that, but, eh, whatever. I'm just trying to make sure we win, and I feel I feel like playing the, uh, the sack room is a really decent way to help with that. So we go one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. There you go, we got a good old Seraphim baby out of it. Right, now let's just be careful on our way back here because there is a turret that could t potentially hurt us. These, these ones here. There you go. Back up to full HP. Uh, I will bomb this guy as well, why not? Sadly, it was not worthwhile. Anyhow, continue on. Yeah, the Seraphim baby, it's not crazy good. It's basically just like a slightly, slightly better, a slightly worse um, Seraphim baby, whatever. What, 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 what's the other one called? Is it Seraphim that I'm thinking of? And this one's called something else? I can't remember. But the other angel baby that fires the homing shots. It's like a slightly worse version of that. Good. Yeah, we are doing buku damage right now. And Mustard Seed, a nice little addition for us. Mustard Seed can be really strong. That's a lot of money, baby. That's a lot of money. Ugh. These goddamn enemies. Luckily, they're not actually that hard. They're just annoying. Midas Touch coming our way. For some reason, they always get Midas Touch from this guy. No, I didn't this time. Okay. Surprising. I can see forever. Lovely. Tech point five. Oh my god, that's so good. Magic Mushroom. Ah. Tech point five is insanely good here. Especially with, um, Cricket's body, because it synergizes. I kind of forgot about that. Very, very nice to see. But yeah, now we've got a bit more range. That's a trinket smelter boy, I don't really care for you right now. Should quickly go back and try and find out other secret room. want to miss out on that. Steven Floor? I'm honestly not interested in Steven Floor this time around. I think Steven Floor is one of those floors that you only really go to if you've got like a couple of bad items that you need to switch out and you've got a lot of money. Um, Like, I, I love having it as a mod, but I don't think it's a floor you need to go to every time because it's a kind of a hard floor. It's not an easy floor, so you don't want to go there every time. Glad it came this way because there's a boss trap room here. And there's Mr. Dolly in the boss trap room. That's incredible. And the Mr. Dolly gave us triple soul hearts. That's the dream. That right there is the dream. Beautiful. Right. Are we still looking for shop? No, we're not. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, Mr. Dolly has put us in a very good spot for next floor's angel deal. This floor's kind of went down the shitter because of the sacrifice room. But I still think we came out on top overall. So I do not mind. Give me the key. I was trying to think what was in the shop now and there was nothing in the shop. It was a boss fight, wasn't it? The knockback we got going on right now is kind of crazy. Ah, that was a pretty good hit, sir. I'll give you that. Look at our tiny little mushroom babies here. Cute. Devil deal is not what I was expecting on a 4% or 5% chance, but I'll check it. At this point, I am going to take both of these. Little bit risky, but one of the main reasons for that is, for one, um, money equals power is just really good for damage, especially when we've got a lot of money right now. But Cricket's body... Plus, Eye of the Occult is really good. Because it basically means you can direct the shots back into the enemy that they, like, splash out from. It essentially creates, like, a little swarm. Ooh, we got a library here. Wasn't expecting a library, but I'll take it. We got ourselves the blank book. Um, doesn't seem particularly useful. 
Uh, sun card's nice, and Book of Revelations is good here, although I will not use it until after I've beaten the boss, because I do not want a thingy item here. Do you know what? Sun card's probably a good use here. Come on, money. Lovely. I'm going to check the shop, even though I probably don't want to spend much. I will bomb to re-roll this. Nothing particularly amazing. I will buy the card, though, actually. Three of diamonds. I can't remember what three of diamonds does, to be honest. Spawn three random coin pickups. Okay. Three of diamonds. Not great, not great. Right, go to our item room and boss, and then we're good to go. Start using our active. But yeah, now we have some actual, like, regenerable HP here. Didn't we have an I can see forever this floor? Was that last floor? I think that was last floor. You again. See how much faster kill that was? Dad's key. Unfortunately, I'm just going to recycle that, although I'm not particularly happy about it. Just. So what does, what does this core thing do again? Taking damage will spawn a memory explosion for the current room works only once per floor. Not that interested. Probably should pick up this money for damage. Don't know why I wouldn't. Right here, then. On our way to our boss. Dude, don't jump away from me. You're meant to be attacking me. This guy's just chilling behind rocks. Okay, we got him. I need to be opening up all the chests, really. Just the chance at getting extra money is so high. We need to start using our active though, because our health isn't great right now. It's not bad, but it's it could definitely do to be a lot better. Oh, dude, yeah, this is so much higher damage. Forty percent devil deal chance. Didn't get it. That's fine. Right down we go. I was gonna use the strength card in that boss fight, but I didn't goddamn need it. We breezed by. We are. Very much on time for boss rush if we want to take a peek. We should grab our fool card um, if we see the skull so we can steal it. But I'll keep my eye out for wherever that might be. I mean, I could obviously definitely do boss rush normally if I wanted to, but if I can cheese it, why the hell not? I'm getting confused by my mustard seed uh, spawns. I keep spawning more and more friendlies and I'm like, oh shit. There's an enemy left. It's not an enemy left. It's just another goddamn mustard seed boy. Another sack room here, although we do not have the red hearts to support that anymore. A lot of large rooms so far. It's going to be a little hard to find our uh, full, a full card, I think. Annoyingly so. I don't know why a bunch of troll bombs spawned there. Right, let's go back and see if we can find it. I'm hoping it's not going to be too much of a mess about here, but I have a feeling that it is going to be. Yeah, take you out. Ooh, a rune room. See, I've been told to bomb these things, and I'm going to try it, but I'm, I don't know what happens, and I, I don't want to risk my run for this. <laughs> I'm a little scared. Okay, so it is cracking. Is this, this, this is probably going to be a... Why, why is it throwing away my bombs? Is it going to be a boss? It's not a boss. Okay. We get this. One black heart. The last enemy killed each room respawns as a permanently charmed version. Whenever a friendly enemy dies, it triggers the Necronomicon effect. Friendly enemies that die have a small chance to respawn in the next room. Seems interesting. I'm going to take it. Especially considering we've got Mustard Seed, which means we've got more friendly enemies. And I'm hoping this doesn't have, like, a major downside. <laughs> okay, those enemies just, like, 
respawn. So basically, okay, so I've got a curse up there, look now, from this item. So I'm guessing basically I just have to do some rooms twice is how this is going to work. Which is annoying, but fine. Where the hell is our fool card? I don't know if it's going to be every room I have to do twice or just some. Yeah, yeah, it's just some. Got a shop here. We bothered by it. Found a secret room here. We get an amazing goddamn item. How do I get this item? Do I have to bomb and then... Dude, this is annoying as all hell. There you go, I got it. Booster box is insanely good. It's it's probably one of the most powerful items in the Something Wicked pack. I don't know why it's such a low quality. It should definitely be quality 4 in my opinion. Like, look at that. <clears throat> I've got like two enemies and it's like, here's a bunch of cards. What a bunch of golden buttons over there, but I think I'm more intrigued by Chemical Peel to be honest. I'm sorry. Right, still haven't seen that fool, boy. We're not running out of time exactly, but it's still annoying. Things are getting confusing with um, with all of the all the thingy enemies, charmed enemies, with mustard seed plus this other item we've got going on. Things are definitely getting a little overwhelming, but I'm having fun. It's interesting. Enemies doing the Necronomicon effect when they die is just obscenely powerful with this setup. Okay, so this room, this room re-upped itself. It's over. There it is. Oh, god damn it. So there's, there's going to be some confusion going on, and there's going to be some rooms that are made quite a bit harder by this, but I think because we've got regenerable HP in the book, and we've got really good damage, I really don't see it being a huge problem. I, th I see it being much more of a benefit to us because we've got um, this Necronomicon effect triggering constantly. If we can get like a missing page as well, that'd be kind of insane. Right, boss time. He started out with less health for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. You're dead now though. Uh, I'm going to take Polaroid here. I don't need the damage. Both of those are terrible for us. Um... Well, unfortunately, all of these are pretty trash, but I guess I'll take Foul Gut for the Rotten Hearts. But yeah, all of those were pretty terrible. Rotten Hearts are just nice to get a bunch of uh, flies spawning for us. But yeah, there's room rooms. I wonder if it's always that item when you bomb. I was kind of expecting it to be a boss, to be honest. But I was like, oh, I'm powerful enough, I can take on a boss. But it's, it's not. It's like an item you can get that apparently gives you a, a permanent curse. Um, and I'm guessing that curse is just the one where the enemies can just respawn. Oh no, it's I, I don't I don't have the curse anymore. So maybe it's not a permanent curse. Okie dokie. But yeah, I think we're gonna be, have a pretty decent and easy time of uh, getting through rooms here. It's just gonna be a little bit difficult. Oh, I shouldn't have used that this floor. It's just gonna be a little bit difficult. To sort of keep an eye on what enemies are my enemies and what enemies are my friends. <laughs> like, the hearts are obviously a, a dead giveaway, but they kind of get lost in translation in a, in a busy room. Um, and it'd probably be better if they were just tinged a different color or something. I actually really want that uh, shot speed up. Thank you. Is it the last enemy killed becomes my charm familiar? I think it is, isn't it? So yeah, I get I get a big boy big boy one of those. Oh, we get chasm in here. Just kind of weird. Yeah, I, I have like zero comprehension of what's going on at the moment. I've got so many friendly enemies doing God knows what. Doing the black heart death effect all the time. It's crazy. This is just kind of mental. Yeah, there's some enemies like this big boy that doesn't even have hearts above him, so it's very confusing. I, like, I don't even know what enemies are left in this room. They're dead now, whatever it was. 
I had a hard time figuring it out, though. <laughs> this is really confusing. Is the room over? No? Yes? Yes? Okay. This <laughs> is the most batshit insane fucking room. I, I can't believe I got this plus mustard seed. With mustard seed involved, this gets so much wackier. Kind of walk through the rooms and keep shooting and hope for the best. Don't really know what's going on. It's good old conquest. Right. <laughs> the thing is as well, like, with each room, like, each room that we do, this 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 setup just gets more and more insane. Like, it's, ne it's never gonna let up. It's never gonna get more understandable. It's always gonna get more insane. In fact, there's another rune room over there. Um... I am gonna check it out and see if I can get two of these items. I don't even know what would possibly happen if I get two, but I've got to try. It's four bombs. It's quite, quite a pricey tool. It'd be nice if my bombs didn't get pushed away. Dude, this little fuck stick keeps blowing my bombs away. Okay, i just get another one. Gimme. <laughs> I don't know if having two of them does anything, but I'm hoping it just like the last two enemies of every room I get to keep now. The blackout effect noise keeps going off because things are dying and it's really confusing me. Wait, what the? Oh, I got the curse thing, didn't I? I was like, why'd the door reshut? I don't know what's a real enemy and what isn't. Is the room over? I'm so confused. <laughs> Okay, it's open, it's open. I can barely see where I am. <laughs> okay. The room's not open yet, apparently, why not? What's what's possibly left, I could I couldn't tell you. Well, that was an easy mum kill. <laughs> Up we go. God damn. It's an unintelligible mess. I've never realized how dummy thick this boy is. When he goes up, you'll see how crazy thick he is. Look at that. Look at that dummy cheeks. Crazy. Basically, just keep shooting and move forward towards the door. And hope everything dies by the time you get there. Seems to be the best way to go forward here. And it actually seems like it's working. What's going on with this room? There's an invincible guy. This, this is confusing. There's an invincible enemy, but this guy's invincible. So how do I kill him? Did I get him? I'm unsure what happened there. We're starting to add the angel, item, uh, angel enemies to our roster. Unleash the spike blocks. Fucking get out my way. Unfortunately, bosses aren't going to do anything for us. We've just got to deal with that. Okay, unfortunately, I've just realized we have this little dude here that's eating our other familiars. And, um... Just, yeah, he's just eating them all. Like, look at this watch. He goes over to them. And he's just fucking eating them. <laughs> like, he kind of needs to die because I'm losing so many of my friends because he just keeps fucking eating them. <laughs> you can't just eat all my friends. Ow. Pretty funny, but you can't just be eating all my friends.
He keeps trying to eat the big birdie, but he can't. <laughs> okay. Stop eating my buddies, guy. Again, not even really sure what the enemy is in this room. Ah, oh, you trapped me right at the end of the room. God damn it. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, no, no, he's just charmed. It's okay. Wait, having him charmed is not a good thing, right? Stop eating, my friends. <laughs> he's just fucking eating them all. Fuck you, buddy. Technically, we could have done Delirium there, and that would have been a completion mark, but I completely missed it and just walked straight in. Um, the Mega Satan door is... What? Why is the Mega Satan door not there? Does anyone know? I've literally never seen that happen before. The Mega Satan door just isn't there. What the hell? I've literally never seen that happen before. Does anyone know why that could be? I think my Monchi boy is still around. I can hear him belching. Belching up a storm. Yeah, I've, I've literally never seen that happen before. The Delirium Dodge just... The, the Mega Satan Dodge isn't there. I don't know what I could have done to a car. Dude, there's things right there. What am I doing? I keep walking into them. Those turrets just shooting me. The, the kind of interesting thing is, though, he's eating things and causing a, um, a black heart, like, Necronomicon effect every time he does. I like the fact that this Bernie here, um, holy Bernie, he just can't deal with for some reason. Everything else he can eat. The holy Bernie, he has no idea how to eat. Watch him. He's going to take it. He's coming. He's coming. Oh. It does a blackout effect every time he does it. Ooh, this room's horrible. Kill this bad boy. Kind of hope we get a delirium pull now. So we can actually do a completion mark. I didn't see it in time. The last one just hopped straight in the chest. I could go back to Mega Satan and try and do that for a delirium play. I guess. I'm just doing so much damage right now and got regenerable health. So it kind of makes sense. Oh, my EE boy is gone now. I can start rebuilding my army. Nah, no delirium there. Let's go do Mega Satan then and see if we get a delirium. Probably won't, knowing me, but we'll give it a go. To be fair, I should probably play these guys. I don't need keys anymore. It's annoying when they just take a fuck ton of stuff from you and don't pay out. Leave that guy be for now. Come on, you old bag of burns. Oh, okay. It's it's back now. So I guess we have to end this run here. Damn it. That was weird. Maybe it was just a visual glitch last time then. We've already seen Dad's key as well, so it's not like we're getting Dad's key from anywhere. Should have taken it. I didn't even think about doing Mega Sin. Either way, this is a good win. A nice, easy win with some crazy shit going on. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one.